welcome back to the channel hey i know why you're here and you know why you're here so let's go ahead and jump right into this review I gotta tell you, my favorite feature of this mower is gonna be the self-propelled feature. Let me show you why. This that you see right here is cut at four inches. For the summer, I keep my grass cut high, and in the fall and the spring, I keep it cut at like three. When I cut over here horizontally, it is a little bit of a challenge, and you may ask, well, why don't you just cut vertically every time? Well, it's not a good idea to cut your grass in the same direction often so you have to switch the pattern up so when I do which I don't look forward to I do this horizontally and check this out without the self propeller notice the forward push there's a lot more going on there now let me do it with the self propeller See the difference? So my next favorite feature has to do with my height. <laughs> um, I'm short. And so I am so glad that this mower has different levels based on your height. Let me show you. So here, it looks fine, right? But the mower will not run with the handles like this. In order for it to run, you have to extend these handles. Now, I definitely can't mow like this. This thing is right up in my face. So, the level that works for me is There we go, a lot more comfortable. So that is by far my second favorite feature of this mower. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this dual blade feature on this lawnmower. Just had to make sure I took the battery out of there. So here you have the dual blade system. Uh, put my gloves on and never mess around with these blades without having on some gloves. And let me show you something really cool. Hold up one second. All right. For changing these blades, makes it, Ego makes it pretty safe and, and really easy to just kind of stick that in there so that when I go to take these blades off, I have, it hits, hits the, uh, the screwdriver there and I can just safely take that off. Now, another thing that I really like is this interchangeable blade, blade here that is the actual mulching blade is what it's called and you can see the grooves in there sets it apart differently from this one that has just the one groove um this one is supposed to mulch better for the summer i just use the regular blade but for the fall i'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the mulching blade because it'll grind the the, the, gla the grass blades up a little bit smaller so the blades the next feature I'm gonna show you is one that I haven't used very much. It's uh, lights, it has lights on it. <laughs> I've used it once actually. Um, I had to come out here and mow late one night because the grass was really high. I really needed to get it done, but it was so hot during the day that I wanted to wait until it cooled off. So let me show you the lights. Unfortunately, not the best demonstration because it's daytime, so it's hard to see. But the light feature is pretty cool. Eagle really does make it easy to enjoy the mow with this mower. I like it. It's easy to maneuver. And a lot of times that's what we want. We want ease of use with these things. And for that, 
Ego, this Ego Power Plus hits the mark. It is an easy to use, easy to maneuver lawnmower. Coming in just around 50, under 60 pounds, it's, it makes mowing your grass pretty simple. This mower does the job. And the runtime, I've never had a problem with it. I've always had at least two, two lights left on my battery when I finish mowing. Now my lawn is just under 6,000 square feet, front and back. I can go on one battery. I can go on one battery and still have two lights left on it. So to me, that's at least another 30 minutes left to mow. So the battery has never been an issue. Guys, ultimately, this is a really good mower and I do recommend it. I give it an A minus, but that's just, the reason it's not getting a solid A is because I'm wanting, you know, that immaculate striped lawn and I know that I can't get that with this plastic deck and the weight of this mower. But for the DIYer, it's perfect. It, it maneuvers well, you have the lever adjustment, you have the self-propel. There's nothing I have bad to say about it. It even has some safety features on it that, you know, I stumbled across because my mower wouldn't start, but it, it turned out to be user error. I tightened the bolts a little bit too tight, and when you do that, there's a safety field feature built in, whereas the mower will not start, because I'm sure that will damage your mower. So I figured that out, loosened it up, started right up. And this thing has been a beast for me since I've had it. So, and I've had it just over a year. So with that, that ends my review. And as always, any feedback, Put them in the comments below and let's talk about it.